We are back. We are back. Another episode of the Gone Cast. Welcome we back. We down. We hit double digits. It's episode ten, guys. Holy shit! Already. Time is flying. Yeah, I don't know what time of the day it is. What like, day it is? Yeah. I don't even know who I am anymore. I'm in a time warp, son. For real. Damn. It's no joke. It's Nomad, good. how you been, man? Good to have good, you back. Good, good, good. Thank I speak you. To the mic. You got sucked up in that time warp last week, man. Yeah, man. Books. Books. Speak to the mic. You hit them hard? I hit them shits hard. Man. I'm one. still here. I just came from trying to study. No doubt. Yeah. I'm trying to study. No doubt. We got a very special guest in the building as we no do doubt. every week. We in the right this guy here. is. You know what he's so international. Popular. He's international getting yeah. bread, brethren. Nah, man. We trying to just stack up what we can. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm just going to laugh all night at the match lines. Nah, but Yo. I'm here, you know, back in the Kansas we in the building. You know what I'm saying? The unpopular Liddy Gang. Here my homeboy, you know, Quan the Don. Quan the Don. You know what I'm saying? Yonkers in the building. Like, you know, Yonkers in the building. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, Miami's in wow. the building. Miami. That's what up. Miami. St. Kitts. Yo, where are you from, Match? St. Kitts. Where's that? I was born in Bastille, St. Kitts. Bastille? Or, yeah, where, where St. Is Christopher's. For people it's, that don't it's a have small, match. it's a tiny, a tiny, tiny, tiny little island on the dot of the map. Is it close to St. Martin? It might be. Who knows? Oh, it's the Virgin Islands? Yeah. It's, yeah, oh, it's well, dope. West Indies. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, okay. You feel me? Virgin. Mm. But, yeah. <laughs> nah, but, yo, I'm saying it's Nevis. It's just a real tiny island. I mean, it probably takes about, I would say, about almost what, 45 minutes to go around the whole island. Holy shit. It's that serious. Damn. Yeah. It's not that big. But, you know, and crazy, we got a volcano on that shit. Oh, hell no. How often <laughs> is this volcano <laughs> erupting? How often uh, does it erupt? It, hey, it, it, you know what? We, I don't. Is it dormant? I think it's probably dormant. But guess what? It has like a little rainforest. Like, it's real beautiful, but at the same time, it's some. Oh, so it's it doesn't erupt. Shit. Yeah, it won't erupt no more. So you never had to is run it, from yeah. lava and shit. Like, oh no, none of like that Pompeii. shit. You probably run from monkeys. Mm-hmm. Monk God, monkeys. Yes. monkeys. Run from yeah, monkeys. I monkeys. I thought like monkeys aren't friendly. Well, if yeah, you yeah, come yeah, up in that up. bitch with some dollar bread, he coming for you. You know what some I'm what? Saying? If you got, you know, dollar bread, you know, Aki, whatever you, you know what I'm saying, whatever you snacking on, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So if you walking through it like that, it ain't even about that. They just running up on you. you and know, they throw shit at up, people, right? You know, Monk- they act the fuck up. I monkeys mean, throw shit at people. Can I? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, they go there. They go there. They go there. But so when you grew up, like, how long yeah. were you over there before you made the move to the States? Um, Well, I was there until I was, like, probably about, I would say, like, eight, nine. Oh, okay. So yeah, early. Eight nine, yeah, eight nine. So it was. It wasn't like yeah, eight nine, because then from right there it was. You know, we my my father was an army, so gotcha. we go back and forth. And United States like Army or which army? Um. Well, yeah, United States Army. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So yeah, because once he came over here, you know, got his you know his shit together. I guess you know what I'm saying. He got his shit, you know, and you know we moved back and forth. But um, the first place I moved to was um Germany. Oh wow. shit! Yeah, man. Where Wurzburg. in Germany? Würzburg. 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 What part of Germany is that? Actually, guess what? Würzburg is where Dirk Nowitzki's from. What? Where is he? Ken Ball. That's why he's trying to act like you. Maybe he. <laughs> yo, Match was talking stuff before the nah, before I mean, episode. Nah, yeah, he, I, I don't do. I'm, he was I'm saying he was an okay. AAU All Star. Nah, and I, I, and I was saying like I don't know Match. <laughs> they trying to put me in play. Looks nah, like I could clearly shoot that. over you. I could pull a Dirk on you, son. Ah. I mean, I have a, I, you know, a lot of people say I that. have a mid-range a lot of people say that. A lot of, It's all about, we have to see what happens when it, when it happens. Cause mm. you know, it's, it's a lot of talk and I, I be hearing that and that's, no, but that's usually how it starts. Oh, it always starts like that. Fun. Of course. That's, I mean, that's great. Cause I mean, I just see, we have this model, like, cause we know in the South, you know, we not like, see New York, you got like, we, we, we love it. New York. That's how we used to look up, see how mad y'all had amazing point guards, two guards, but see in the South, it's more gritty. So it's like, once we start tapping in, we gonna talk yeah. trash. Like we gonna go in. It's more gritty than really? like, <laughs> We gonna go in, like we go. New York originated all the flashy point guards and the trash talking, but honestly, we can't. We're not even the mecca anymore. Like it's where it originated, but right now it's like our college team suck, our professional team suck. Uh, we still send yeah, mad players to play D1. No, I, was I don't gonna say. I was gonna say it doesn't mean we're not the mecca. We still produce a lot of players. We still produce a lot of players, but now it's not like, like. 
Well, they don't play the same kind of ball nowadays. These kids are softer than they well, were. Basketball, right? basketball, you know, basketball, basketball, the street, whole in the street. Exchange. You know what? It's reached a level globally, no, though. That that's why that's why it's like it's that, hard to every, pick a mecca. every style has fused. You know what I mean? It's like now yeah. now you got kids doing the Euro step that came from Europe. Now that's you got true. kids with the New York crossover and they're yeah, growing true. up that's in Alabama. True. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like every well, style has saying. fused. Globally, it just gets, the game got so much bigger. There's so many players in the NBA right now from fucking Europe and, and other countries. Yeah. But you know what, too? So like if you to if you like sit down and you really look at like the the like how the game is going, just like you said, you know, like everything's being crossed. There's no inside game you know, though. It's, now. You know what? Actually, you'd be no, surprised. No. You got to just look out for the. It got some, man. It got some. No, I'm one saying thing, as far as it, the pros is concerned, there's no inside game. It's all fucking three pointers. I mean, yeah, but it all depends on the, it depends on you know what team you're running with, what type of you know type of you know what type of offense you're running into because you got to think about it like when you got like that Charlotte Hornets, you know, like you got them two big men that can work like that down there. That's some crazy, you know. Now that opens it up. Now if they get shooters down, that's just going. I mean, I said Pelicans. Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah. Fly Pelican. Down. But guess what? That's you know. But it, once they do that, imagine when they get shooters. That's some dope. That's gonna be some other shit. Yeah, you feel me? They did, yeah. they but need, they, they, they need just to sign me. Sign you to a, a bench deal. <laughs> yeah, man. So, so after yeah, you came um to Germany, then when did you make your way over here, man? I mean, I came over. I was a, even from Germany. Like, I mean, when I left from Saint Kitts, I was already like we we already transitioned over here somewhat. But then from right there, you know, the family like we came to Miami. And okay. we came to Miami was with my, you know, at, at first staying with my aunt and all that. And then from right there, that's when, you know, my father, then, you know, he was working. And then he ended up getting into the army and doing all that stuff too as well. And, and then we transitioned back. But I was going back and forth anyway. So, so you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you have like a diverse background because you've yeah. been moving around. Yeah, got a chance to move around a lot. That's dope, man. Yeah, man. Got a chance. That's one thing, like, you know, I actually can say that I like is that I got a chance to, like, move around a lot. I got a chance to experience... You know, different things And then like I said You know like But most of it Most of the roots Though I ain't gonna friend It's like It's all in That's Miami We used to like that's Really? Where, yeah, really? I was gonna ask that Yeah Miami is like The full roots though it's So that's like, what you yeah. consider home? I would cause Yeah You know what I, I'm gonna have to say Miami's like more home Than anything else Hell yeah I Cal love City. Miami Cal City man 194 Yeah 194 Terrace What's <laughs> dope Yeah Serious. You was like, just in Miami recently? Yeah, just recently. I had to go, you know, check out my mom's. I, every time I got over, oh, every time okay. I'm down there, I go make sure I check out mom's, make sure she's all right, everything's, you know, everything's good, copacetic. So yeah, when did you start Miami rapping, man? Like, when was it? Miami, Germany? Actually, this was actually in Germany. Imagine this. You know, like, when I, I used to play, like, I used to play, you know, I used to do, like, the whole AAU ball thing, and you know, but, you know, I was still, back then, just trying out and shit. You know, we used to just go yeah, to, like, yeah, different yeah. functions. And then they used to have these little, you know, the after-school shit y'all have. Like, you know, after-school program, after-school dances and shit. Yeah. And that was the first time I actually ever heard, like, like hip-hop. Like, like I ever, like, really... What listened. year was this? I heard De La Soul Stakes is High. Wow. Mm. That was, that was, I love that song. The Horns was probably one of the most illest... <laughs> you know, Jay Dilla. Yeah. Stakes is high. You know what I'm saying? You know them stakes is that's high. one of Dilla's first hits. Mm. That was that's right there. That that started it like for me actually. Because then that was like there it what is. happened. It what it on. made me do was it made me now backtrack everything else. You know, right. I, yeah. I did. I did my full review. I did the whole. I tried. Well, I tried to do as much research as I could at that time. Not what I thought I could. You know. And then yeah. I just started. Would be just That's a good place flowing. to start man Yeah man Flowing I used to just You know sometimes Just try it You know match the words Play with it And then after a while You know it got a little okay You know I, th- I did okay For myself so what, you know? But yeah That's how I started though Word up Yeah So what's Match McKenzie man Like what, what's Mash that McKenzie, name Match McKenzie Match McKenzie Match McKenzie Um well McKenzie That's your government <laughs> Nah that ain't even Nah that's the, I can't get nobody <laughs> Hey I don't know. I you probably know. got like three different passports. You a Jason Bourne motherfucker. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I like that. <laughs> I mean, no, no, who knows? Who knows? But um, <laughs> Match McKenzie, like, well, Match, Match is just, we get the party started. Shit lit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, really? That's what that's for? <laughs> yeah. 
you know, nobody can't match me. It's just it's a comparison thing. It's, it's so many words that can come out of match. That's why I said I put match right there because match, you get the party started and who can really actually, you know, compare to you in, in, in many ways. And that's just me speaking, you know, just for my own, you know, because that's, that's how I sit down and I write. I write in it. I write from all these different, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. Different perspectives, but yeah, but match and Mackenzie's just like that's a good friend of mine actually. You know, he passed away a long time ago, so you know that's just like you know, <clears throat> things that I've just, I just you know I kept moving with. You know what I'm saying so yeah, match Mackenzie. Uh, that's what's up, man. Shout out to Christian Corliss on the check in. Shout out to Diego Gold on the check in. Johnny International EA, we see you guys you know, checking in. Appreciate that. Appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, man. When when I met you, like. We was just vibing out in that car ride, and then you started, and then you threw on some of your records, and I was like, first of all, a little bit of background before that, this guy had swooped me up, and he kind of wanted to manage me, kind of, you know, try and find me a deal where if he did, he was going to take a percentage of it. I was like, all right, bet, you know, do what you can do, and I'm going to keep doing what I do. And so he's like, these are my other two artists. It's John, and then it's dude Match. And then I hopped in the car, that I heard Match's music, and I was like, all right, this guy that swooped me up must know what he's doing, because Match is pretty dope. And, you know, one thing led to another. We were just vibing that day, yeah. playing a bunch of records. And I was like, I didn't know what to expect because I heard your accent. And then the music came on. I was like, oh, shit, this is you? Do you, you get that a lot? Uh, yeah, I get that all the time, actually. <laughs> yeah, so you had the same reaction? I get it. Yeah, son. Yeah. And, you know, it's crazy, too, because, you know what? It's so, man, when it comes to music, music has this little small circle where everything just like, it's almost like if you fit if you fit that circle, you're going to find your way into it somehow. I met, this my homeboy, you know what I'm saying, Quanta Don, too, like I said, you feel me? That's like, like now it's like a few years now. And, and homies, like, I met him one time. He didn't even know, like, we, we both, like, performed at this, um, at the Shrine. Okay. And he actually performed that day, you know, right before I performed. And, and you know, it's crazy. Like, a few months later, we start, you know, like, I think I went to one of my, one of my good friends. They wanted to, like, I'm to my amazing production, um, Tokyo Shrimp. And when we got there, that's where we then sat down there, and we we linked up there, and then when we linked up, and yeah, we just been vibing, you know, we we create, you know, form, we, we, we you know we, we move like we move as a whole unit. That's my you know squad. That's just out. You told me a story back back then when you was like how you were standing outside a label every single day. Yeah, man. You know what? I when I first the funny, well, I got this crazy story right, and this is why I tell people like I don't care what nobody feel like. You got to sometimes just go on your on your just I first came to New York like can't get y'all that day. But <laughs> <laughs> what? Well I came, when I when I came I know it was hella cold. It's probably around February time, I know that though. That was but the first time in your face. Yeah, that was the first the time. The first time like, cause when I came up here I only had like we had like, you know, I'm, we came from the south, so we thinking like just have some hoodies, you know, you good, don't worry. Psych. Yo, it was brick. I'm yeah. talking about it was it was it was ridiculous Like it was ridiculous Yeah But then you know You know I grabbed You know whatever When I came up here You know we grabbed Grabbed another jacket Thinking it's gonna It's still you know, It's still, still shots me Yeah How cold yeah. it gets. Yeah, It's a different feel It was yeah. it was totally different Like we weren't even We weren't prepared for it, it but Smacks you in the face yeah. Yo we weren't We weren't prepared for it But like when we came up here we, our, our whole process was like You know what you know, damn. Let's let's try to get a deal. Let's try to see what we can do because we felt like we would, you know, in Miami, Miami, not, you know, not a lot of. You got like it's a lot of. Well, the labels up here. Like, well, there you, you go. Know. You know, and we we always kept thinking like, you know, we were trying in Miami, you know, trying to throw parties and shit, and try to like get people to come out to the party, support the parties, hoping that that movement would then process, you know, jump us, you put us in that, you know, trying to get it, you know, yeah. and you know, there you go, and it 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 worked out, but then at the same time, it wasn't working out to to. to our best interest so we said you know what let's let's go to new york let's see what happened and literally man me and my homeboy we sat down this is black Hawk, my homeboy like this is black vincent lowry this is even vip was part of this you know what i'm saying my homeboy tech you know what i'm saying oh my like we we face i can't even forget face man young you know young face man out there he's a he's a dope ass rider too one like one of the top riders right now low key but um like when we went out there, our whole process was like, "Yo, we gonna try to get a deal." He was like, "How are we gonna do this?" We said, "Well, we gonna sit out, sit out, sit right out front, like sit right out front, see what happens." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we did that for literally four days straight, so And then I think probably about coming on the fourth day, one of the security guards—I don't even remember homie name—he like he did like one of the most coolish, like like one of them tried to be funny with me. 
one of them first was like, yo, if you're going to wait, you might as well just sign your name on the, you know, on this little waiting book, da, da, da. You know, and we didn't know back then, like, about the waiting list. Like, and we think we signed, oh, shit, we crazy. We out here just waiting all this time. We could just sign on the waiting list. We signed on the waiting list, and that's just, like, telling you, like, Okay, your appointment is next year <laughs> this time. <laughs> but we didn't know that. Yeah. You know, we just signed. We like, you know, then the guy was like, nah, nah, you got to look at it. And we looked over. You know, this old guy now comes over, and he's like, he's another old security guard. And, you know, and right at that time, um, oh, my God, I can't believe I, I can't forget his name. Eric, um, he's the guy that does right now. He does Smack TV. I'm trying to remember his name, man. Um, he does the Smack with... um. Smack. Eric he, Roberts? No, nah, nah. man. Oh, my Not God. Sermon, I can't right? remember. Eric. Oh, my God. I don't know. Oh, y- y'all don't remember? Oh, my goodness. He's like one of, he's actually one of the, um, he helps found that. He he was like doing that with Smack, too, in terms of the URL and all that. I'm trying. Eric Beasley. I'm sorry. There you go. I got it. Beasley. So, Eric Beasley. And he was like, uh, and he's actually one of one of the dope A&Rs back in the days. Like, I think, you know, that was at Warner Music Group. So, he was already doing a lot of things back. That's, he was, he helped with, like, the whole Gucci man thing, Ti things, and all that shit. Okay, but when even when we when we met him, he, like the um, the security guard then told us, you know, yo, go talk to him. We went over there, went to go talk to him, and homie just like, like I said, yo, I'm from Miami. I'm just trying to get a, you know get a chance to get into your office. If you know if, if the shit if it sucks, you could kick me out. And he turns around and he's like, you got a deal. <laughs> he's like, now. And when he shakes my hand, he looks at me, he goes, now, if it sucks, I can just kick you out, right? You know, like, ain't no problem. Like, I want to, like, and I think I was like, oh, shit. I guess he was trying to, <laughs> he was trying to, I guess he was trying to see him, like, dude, let me see if that's just really trash. So, I mean, he gave me the press. Like, that was a full press right there one time. He was like, yo, so if, if it's trash, I get to kick you out, right? And I'm like, yeah, mm-hmm. man, you kick me out. He's like, all right, here, be here, 930. He's like, and I'm serious, 930. Like, and I was, something we ran out there, we was so down, man, we, yo. I thought I, yo, I thought I literally already had the deal, you know what I'm saying? Because I went outside, I started jumping around. I'm like, like, yo, I called my mom's, yo. Like, so, I was, so, I was out, so I, I was making snow angels and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> shit got real. So I was just like, I was like, yeah, man. I called my mom. I was like, yo, pack your bags. This shit about to change. Like, you don't understand. <laughs> She's like, what's going on? Like, did you rob a bank? I'm like, just nah, not today. But I, shit about to change right now. I'm like, put grandma on the phone. This shit, oh, my God. Oh, oh. Like, I couldn't hold this shit in. But then all of a sudden, you know, whatever. Fast forward, we got back to the whole fucking meeting. We, when we got to the meeting now, we got to the meeting, and they just played, you know, just like a few of my songs, a few productions, you know, you know, production. It was like Shaw Bros. At that time, I was working with a um, production team, Shaw Bros. Shout out to them. They're a dope little team, too. Check them out. They mm. are ill. Shaw Bros. Production. And when we were, like, just going back and forth with those guys, another guy named Concept, we were trying to get a few tracks across, tracks that we've done in terms of, you know, writing on their, you know, on their beats. Mm-hmm. And, yo, they they literally, they they really liked it. They liked everything. But I I didn't get, I didn't get damn signed. I didn't, they didn't sign me at all. Send me the send me the fuck home. So, <laughs> so what they home. say? Like what they did. Yeah, it, what, no, what happened was actually, you know what I'm saying, at, OJ the Juice Man was the last signee on that quarter. Like, you know, they close it off in terms of a budget list, you know? So it's like oh, a budget. They have a budget every quarter in terms of, I guess, how many people Damn, they sign. Damn, you took the L to OJ the Juice so Man? So I took the L to OJ the Juice Man. Oh, so, man. Yeah, son. That was a hot single, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was just trying to think of what this thing was. Is that, is that that because I got high, dude? <laughs> Oh man, damn, he been gone for a long time, son. It's Afro man. I caught, oh, yeah, I caught yeah, a brick and stopped it. Okay, hey, half a brick, quarter brick, ain't a brick. Hey, hey. Okay, yeah. Hey, that, 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 he came out with OJ. He came out, and, that, and he came out with Nicki Minaj. I remember seeing him in the same freestyle, and I was like, oh, who is this girl? And Yo, Flocka, Flocka, Flocka was on. There. Waka, yeah. Flocka. I yeah. remember that. Yo, I'm telling you, sir. Wow. Yo, there you go. Man. I tell you, it's all right though. That that's ha- that. Yo, you know what? It was the best thing that ever happened. I don't care. I mean, you know what? After that, they still kept me as like a writer for a while. They, you know, like we we basically would do joint ventures in terms of just writing, that's trying what to I'm get saying. You, you were writing out there. You were getting some money for writing. I mean, 
It's not what it is all the time, man. These, I mean, sometimes you, you probably wrote some of these people's favorite hits, man. Come on. Nah, I ain't. <laughs> I mean, you can't I, disclose. So I mean, I, I, nah. Like I said, we 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 done some work, and you know, like I said, in some cases, you know, you just like you know, when you're young. You know, you're ambitious as hell, so you really don't know too much. You know, you be, like, just sitting there every day, like, damn, I just want to get in the studio and just work on something and do this and do that and do this and do that. And the whole time, you're not really understanding the whole play of how everything's really going down. Learning Because the they just, they just, they happy to see that there's a creator in the studio and he's creating like a, like, he don't yeah, give you a... didn't really know the business. Didn't like know that. shit about the business, son. Yeah. Shit about it, shit. So, I mean, that's, you know, that's, and that's where I really messed up at. But even then, you know, like, Cause as you you know as you start to progress, regardless, the whole thing about it that really gets you like messed up is like you start really understanding the business business. You understand that shit is just it becomes corny, right? Son, you know, and then you go through so much. But you know, like I said, it's that's why like you know it's dope to have you know great you know artists, producers, and shit like that, like like you guys, and shit. like because you know when, once you at least believe in your craft, one thing I'm I'm happy like I'm happy like I'm God the damn thank God that chance to rap and do one of them things. I'm happy as it because it shows an independent dude that went out there, struck it his own way, did it how he felt, ain't had to say sh nobody. Ain't no machine running that. He's running what he does. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And he showed people like, yo, son, I'm I'm independent. I just want a Grammy. You know, you know what did? You know what that means? You know how much? You know how much money I took out of the label's like plate right now? That's right. the whole play right that just happened. Nobody really understand that. He took out mad money out of their plate because <laughs> they know they don't have yeah. no plate to deal with that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's the things that we can do, you know what I'm saying? But I, and I'm hoping that, like, you know, artists, we start understanding that more. Let's mm -hmm. start grasping that, you know what I'm saying? It ain't really sometimes about, about you know, about the deal. It's about is you getting your, 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 your point across. Are you being, you know, being creative and getting that, that message out? So, you know, but, well, yeah. We, we came up, like, in the early stages of the Internet. Right, so Hell like yeah. there wasn't ASL. So like, <laughs> what's that? What's ASL? Age, sex, location. <laughs> Are you, you being like an AOL? <laughs> you being like an AOL? Like, <laughs> huh? like you being like the AOL group chats or some? You remember that shit? Yeah, real AOL shit. AOL you be talking? You, you ever rap? You ever huh? you ever use the text rap? Nah, but you like if you, you be like, like I'm gonna write the meanest verse to this. What? Mm -hmm. like, whole bunch of people <laughs> in there. Yeah, it'd be like somebody having like like sounds like some early creepy Craigslist shit. I was like in elementary school. It sounds like Chris Hansen gonna find you. Chris Hansen. You guys are friends. You act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Man, yo, let me tell you something. Like you was in AOL chat rooms. Chat, I mean, I wasn't like Friday really night. in the chat rooms like that, but still, I mean, I wasn't like you know what we used to have. Like, I don't know if y'all remember the forums. You used to have these things like rap forums, right? Uh, people on the battling. rap forums, yeah. Yo, so I used to ask me. Nobody I used, ever asked me ASL. I used to go. Uh, I used hip hop forum. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I remember. For, I remember the first <laughs> online battles. <laughs> When some when we used to like type back and forth in the AOL chat with people battling and stuff, and then would be like, "Oh, yo, this battle from last night was dope." I'm like, "Bro, you ain't got no flow though." <laughs> yeah, that shit was all on paper. It was all written. It's like, well, wow, you sitting there was, thinking of your bars for like two minutes. What I was getting at, there's not there, there's not as enough. There wasn't as much information as there is now of readily available about yeah. the music industry. No, you right. You know what right. I mean? Now you could you could. This fucking like you know, Lil Wayne didn't pay his producers. It's like like those stories are readily available. Yeah. So you kind of like I'm not saying that didn't ha that happen. That's true. Away, that's true. It's almost that's like true. all that shit is readily available. Where the money was in a way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, like you're the, right. The mystique behind the industry yeah. was where the no, was what it. made it. They have to keep it like that. Yeah. And, and the more it's right. not like that more. It's still someone is. It's still like it is. Because why are we sitting here scratching our heads? It is to the novice though. Right. To the novice even, it is. even everyone in this room knows a great deal about, you know, overall information about the industries, the machines and stuff. But someone like Chance the Rapper, I'm sure there's some steps that he had a mini machine to make that pop. You know what I mean? It's like certain certain dots have to connect in the right way. And it's oh, like yeah. it, it's not nothing that we necessarily don't know, but it's it's something that he ain't gonna put out there to say this is how I did it. You know what I mean? A lot of it is is also luck involved too, man. I mean right time, right place is destiny, and that's everything too. Man. 
I mean, I think of course it's like who you know. You know what I'm saying, and, and, and so forth, or how you, you know, how you shake. You know, but, so, you know. but that's also every business, though. Yeah, yeah that's, that's every. every that's, that's, that's just every, in life. That's every business. That's life yeah. in general. Like, if I you, never got a job. You, All the jobs I ever had in my life, I never filled out a fucking application for. Yeah. And you know what? Every job that it, I've had since. Since I got out of the military, it's mm. been through somebody. Your yes. network yes. is yes. Yes. in there. You I, I swear, Actually, every, I your network job. is your network. Yeah. I think I had one job that I filled out application when I was like 15 trying to be a caddy. Me and Tim. Yeah, and you don't know who and the that fuck lasts is like who. like three man. days, but I'm saying. <laughs> That's why you got to chop it hey. up with everyone because yeah. you don't know who is who. See, yeah, y'all be getting off, son. I be having to fill out a whole fucking application. Like, a whole <laughs> fucking application. Oh, they hear that accent. I gotta fill out Y'all are wildin', son. Niggas like this, yeah, son. Nigga, I be getting, nigga just give me the job, shit. <laughs> I'm <laughs> like, shit, son. I, know, like, I, I fill out a whole fucking Matches application. Matches outside for four days. I'm talking about, like, two prompts, son. Like, I do one indeed.com and another re- resume.com. Like, this is, we struggling. We, <laughs> this shit is, you know? But, I mean, yeah. That's, I mean, that's but how even I like do. delivering pizzas. I delivered pizza for like two years. I knew somebody that was working there. Oh, you did? Yo, somebody. son. Did, so can I, I ask did you that something? When I was yeah, can, you can I ask you something? Can I ask you something? Yo, I used to deliver I pizza. I still deliver it every day. Well, every so, Friday, let, so let me. To myself. Deliver the job. <laughs> 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 nah, even about that. Like, man, you pizza, pizza, like, you know, they say pizza. They say that's like probably one of the littest jobs. I saw that shit one time. They said, "Hell yeah!" As far as what littest, like, like, like they say sometimes shit shit turn up sometimes when you doing you know when you delivery. Yeah, what you mean? money? Some like one of my homeboys one time right, he was he used to deliver pizzas. He smoked weed and shit. <laughs> like, yeah. no, nah, so he it's went to a party. Yo, yo, he shit. delivered to a party and just left and just was like, Fuck, I ain't going back to work. <laughs> and fuck y'all. Fuck the rest of these orders. <laughs> yeah, I'm so bringing I, these orders into the party. <laughs> Yo. They're going to be mad. You got fired and everything, son. Like, I, I had a piece of her delivery. Matter of fact, I made a song about that shit, too. I was trying to... <laughs> I, I got... And it's yeah, called... Yeah, I'm going to play that shit for you, I'm going to play that shit for you one day. No man's record. I, I, was, I was trying to make a song. I was just making a beat. And that shit funky, too. I'm going to play it. What's that and shit called? Nigga, Stuff Crust Beats? The nigga beats? came to... Nah, piece of her delivery. The nigga came to the door. So I'm like, shit... Put the weed out, right? I'm, I'm in the city. I get to the door. As soon as I open it, damn, nigga, it smell good in there. I'm like, God, yo, hold up, son. Straight, straight up. You know, he trying to push through the door. Yo, I'm going to call him. I'm going to just tell him. I'm going to call him and tell him I'll be back later. I'm like, nigga, fuck you. We ain't coming in here. You know what I'm saying? I took my pizza. I paid this motherfucker with like a dollar tip, and I went and made a song about that shit. And then you gave him a slice. Mm. No. <laughs> mm. Pizza Hut delivery. Damn. Yo, Nomad have classic records. You mean me and records about going to the corner store? <laughs> yeah. Jackie got an ass. Jackie got an ass. Because he tried to see a fat ass make a record about it. <laughs> there you go. What happened today? That one is a song. <laughs> there you go. Said. Nomad. That's just funny. Yeah, man. But, yeah, you know, shit. So, what's the move, man? I mean, right now we're trying to um, actually. We've been working on a um. I got a joint project that's gonna be coming out. You know what I'm saying? It was with Tokyo Shrimp. You know okay. what I'm saying? The Liddy Gang. You know. Liddy. SBG. Gang. Few. You know. Mm. He's like a few people that I've been working with. You know what I'm saying? And definitely, like, I got right now. Currently, I just actually put out um like a few months ago. I put out the Rap Minus Lies Two, which is the volume. Yeah, you gotta go. To, y'all gotta check out Volume One, which is already on um Dat Piff, you know, and that's Rap Minus Lies well, Volume Rap One. Rap without lies. Man. Yeah, so <laughs> Dat Piff. Yeah, so that was the first one. Well, the second one now is released on Spinrilla. So um, if you're okay. trying to look for the Rap, you know, Rap Minus Lies Volume Two, that's on Spinrilla. When'd you drop that? Number two. I dropped that like what a few months. I don't even know when I went there. You gotta text me with that shit, man. Yeah, no son. I think dropping. I probably. I dropped that like a f- yeah about a few months ago. I, I would say, you know what I'm saying. If anything, um, shit, just hey, I need you to go out there. I, I don't want y'all to support. Car, Definitely man. go check it out. You know what I'm saying. You're gonna yeah. really like the message. You know, it's you know it's it's different. You know, I like to like when I sit down and I do my album, I try to like give people like a really deep perspective of you know. And when I say deep, I don't try to get too deep. I don't try to preach and nothing like that. 
But I try to still keep you up on game. And then at the same time, if you want to party, you Where know, are you drawing party. inspiration from? Like, is there a specific um, We have a caller calling in. We have a, we have a phone call. I hate to interrupt. Oh, shit. All right. From yeah. the inspiration. Who's on the line? What's your name and what's your question? What's going on, caller? Yo, what's good? It's Chuck from Baby Grand Records. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Yo, you got any alcohol? Oh. Yo, why you be spilling all that stuff about the rap industry, man? That ain't true. All right, cut. All right, cut all right prank calls, prank calls. What he said? I don't know. I think he said something about Molly Percocet. I'm on lean in the record industry. Mm, mm, well, that's what happens. You sound like you had a, a lot yeah, of whole foods in his mouth. Was just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah, take a lot of prank calls here on the Gone Cast, but what could you expect? Because we're gone with our audience. We're fucking but, um, gone. I'm gonna get into this thing match called the speed round, and uh -oh. then um, so I ask you a couple questions, and you have to have a couple answers. Oh man! Quickly, quickly! How, we, we how need fast? A, we need a we need a drop right here. The speed round. The speed round. <laughs> speed round. Speed round. Speed round. <coughs> Rap. Nas or Jay Z? Damn. The speed. Oh, <laughs> Jay Z. Ash your tits. Ash. Beer or wine? Wine. I don't fuck with beer. All right, 9-11, is that conspiracy or it's Al-Qaeda? A straight, straight conspiracy. Are aliens real? Hell yeah. You believe in God? Well, I... Shit. Damn, dog. <laughs> I don't want to say this on live because my grandma might watch this. Your question is oh, faith at time. <laughs> we right here. Then we, then we right here then. then. we right here then, man. We right here then. Well, yeah, you know, we all here. If your grandma's on Facebook right. Live right now, then shout to her, bro. Yeah, respect the game. <laughs> yeah. Respect the game. All right, all right, nice questions. All right. All right, who's your favorite Ninja Turtle? Favorite Ninja Turtle? Um, mm. Damn. Who's the favorite one? I say Leonardo. He's a chop right. shit up. Adam Sandler or Eddie Murphy? Eddie Murphy. I'm sorry. Amber Rose or Kim K? Am damn, I have to go with Amber. Amber Rose? Yeah. yeah she's all right, Kim K or Kylie? Oh, man, I have to... I don't, oh. I have to take by the oh, I'd rather go with. Damn, you gotta pick one, man. Damn, pick dog. one. <laughs> Shit, well. <laughs> Let me see. All right, man. You sound like all right. I would say about yeah. Well, I will go with Kylie. Let's go, with Kylie. Let's 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 because uh, yeah, it's right. That's yeah. Because all right, all right. Kendrick, you know, Kendrick or Cole? Kendrick. If you could punch anyone in the face, who would it be? If I could punch anybody in the face, who would it be? <laughs> you already thought of him. Uh, I don't really. Who do I want to punch in the face right now? Um, damn, who want to punch in the three? Um, um. <laughs> All right. Damn. So you and Quan in the room, you could either try to beat up Mike Tyson, you two, with just your fists, or you both in the room and you both have swords and you trying to kill a lion. Which one are you taking? We have to shit. We got, we have to do this shit with uh, Mike Tyson. Fuck it, cause ain't nobody. Ch we don't got no time for no lying. Yeah. <laughs> I don't got no time for no Kevin lying. Hart. He underrated or overrated? Um, I think he's at this level now. He's like he's damn. He is somewhat. He, I think he's a tad overrated. All right, you rather be a six man and win a ring or all star and no championships? I'd rather be that six man and win that ring. Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat? Street Fighter. Mortal Stone Cold or The Rock? Oh, I thought you. I thought that was the answer. I'm sorry. Oh, Mortal Kombat. All right. Stone Cold or The Rock? The Rock. Tom Brady or Peyton Manning? Brady. <laughs> if you were WWE wrestler, what would your finishing move be? Um, the Twisted <laughs> Dragon. <laughs> Um, <laughs> hold on, I gotta what? say this shit the right way. Hold on, twisted dragon, um, back pillar, um, double up, contandra. Did I say it right? I don't know what that. What? What? Somersault drop. Like we trying to destroy them. Like 
Like, ain't, ain't no coming back from that type of shit. <laughs> I, I ain't no I, coming back from that shit. I, you, I, you can go a full year sober or a full year celibate. What do you pick? <laughs> I go sober. <laughs> so, damn. <laughs> so I had to go so sober, you feel me? <laughs> all right, all right, no doubt. And then, um, you rather wear Jordans or Yeezys? I have to go with the Yeezys, got more Yeezys, man. I like Yeezys, man. I like Jaws, this is me. <laughs> I like Jaws, man. All right, barbecue like sauce, hot sauce, or honey mustard? Hot sauce or honey mustard, let me see. Or barbecue see. sauce. Which one? Which one? What's your sauce when you're getting saucy? I'm going to say probably barbecue sauce. All right. Okay. Nicki Minaj's butt, is it too big or too fake, or is it just right? I think that thing's just a tad too fake. Just a tad too fake. Just I know that. I know that. How old were you the first time you got drunk? First time I got drunk, I was probably, what, 17? Is Drake top five dead or alive to you? Huh? Is Drake top five dead or alive? Top five dead. Yes, definitely. Due to his, per- his yeah. I, I, I'll give that. I'm sorry. Wow. God. He's uh-huh. one of those. He wanted. I mean, it, you just got to, he survived long enough, you know? Who can say? Like, whole, like, He's breaking that's enough a, that's like records. Interesting. That's that's a tough. He's breaking enough records right now, so that's why I feel like yeah, you gotta at least uh, like you gotta let him get somewhere close. Somewhere. See, when you say top five, though, you gotta kind of specify. Too. That's what I'm saying. Because like, if like you talk go. if you talk lyrically, that's one thing. He everyone definitely... asked that. No, but listen to this. This why I be this why I tell people that's too. Tough, like we gotta you know? like if you're gonna sit down there and say that he wasn't popping like that, then if you really listen I'm to like. No, not, I'm not saying it like that, but I'm saying because they say lyrically. So if you want to say lyrically, you got to think about it from his first, first, first type of, like, stuff that he was doing. And that was, he literally changed the whole flow at one point. Mm. Man, I don't know if people really understood how he slowed down the whole flow compared to how everybody had, like, you know, like, he really slowed down. Like, when somebody does that, that shows you that they, they like, you literally slowed down a damn near generation in the flow. You know, because now you see how everybody's doing the same shit. Once again, it's sped up, but it's still the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a certain way. Because as the wave change, you see how the flow change with it, too, as well. So it, mm-hmm. it's, you know, it's hand in hand at one point. Like, that's why I say, like, yo, you know, when you force people. Because if you really listen to, like, all these different artists coming up, they sound somewhat like how he sounded when he first came. So you would probably just, you know, you don't know. But that's why I, yeah. He's definitely, but yeah. I mean, he know. did write a lot of Lil Wayne's hits before he... <laughs> I mean, he, yo, he yo, he, he wrote a lot of stuff. You gotta, like, people can't sit down there and not take it like he didn't do anything. Like, he, he did a, just as... Like, when I think of Top 5 Dead Alive in hip-hop, though, I'm not thinking about Drake. You know what so, I mean? All right, so what are you yeah. thinking about when you say that? Like, what do you think? I'm thinking about, like, about, like artists like, like, like Pac, because that's my favorite artist of all time. I, yeah, top but five dead or alive. I'm, talk, I'm talking about when he said. No, I'm talking about, oh, you said top five dead or alive. Is that so what done. you said? Well, yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw. When his career is said and done, do you think he'll be in the top five dead or alive? Yeah, he'll definitely be top. He'll be, definitely. He'll be one of the most popular artists definitely. to have ever lived. I know, but uh, I'm, I'm saying it's, 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 artist, a pers- it's a personal question, too. You like, know what I mean? All right, so. Because we could all sit here and argue numbers and shit, but at the end of the day, it's like, dude, it's, it's a personal question. When Drake stopped making music and get back into acting, Will Smith all day. It's over. It's over. I think he's I think already he's, he's already do. an actor. He's a huge he's artist do. right now. He in the gym. Yeah, yeah. Wait till he get back into acting. It's a, you, think, you think he's gonna be? Up for it's that. a wrap. You think he's gonna be? He's gonna be a Hollywood icon forever? Then yeah. he, it's a wrap. I think Drake, a rap. Drake is. I think he's about to get into acting. Prince. Real he could have soon. a film. He gotta have a seamless transition. Just be no. But if you watch like if you watch those like I ain't gonna front. Like, I'm surprised he was like he was he was he was a tad bit funny on that Saturday that Saturday Night Live shit. She was a little bit funny yeah, to me. So much, I think so. I think in the, within he, the next five years he's gonna start transitioning. If he's if he's gonna be in depends where his heart is because he could do anything he wants. Yeah, right? I mean like that's what I, he might be in. A, he might be ready to. Well, he's oh, been well. in the game for a while. No, but that's why I keep that's why I keep years. saying like you know, dude. I said you know, 2018 it's, 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 it's gonna yeah. start. It's gonna start fizzling for him. You see, you say 2018. Yeah. He, he just fizzling? went. He, he just I didn't he just lose his contract right now? Isn't he out of? uh Young Money right about now? Or probably after that. This is his last album. No, more. Yo, he yeah. don't. And he that don't watch. Either. I give him two good albums. He might fuck around and make a full R&B album. Right. 
two good albums, a little R&B album or some shit like that. Mm. The label jumping, and he, I'm telling you, man. He's definitely going to go down one of, of the most popular artists of all oh, time. Yeah, yeah. he definitely, I mean, he, yeah. yeah, he will. He will. Cannot, but he when will. I, I'm thinking hip-hop, I'm thinking of something different, though. You know what I mean? When yeah. it comes. I'm just talking about the impact overall, like, you yeah. know, on the art, too, not just popularity. Nah, that makes it not that, that definitely makes it. Is sense. A, it was it's opinion, you know. What Who's I mean? that? Because I mean, like I feel like you know you got to think about artists that impact. Like I feel like of course that's why Jay Z and not like they they all like they in, like it was a full impact. Like it was a point where like even when Jay Z had his run, like it was a run. It was like cold. Like, yeah, everyone had everyone had, had a, a, had a everybody run. Everybody had hits. their one run. Like when they were on that run, it was a run. Like you wasn't. Coming in anytime you drop anytime there that yeah. like you're not even you should just chill <laughs> yeah. like Nas oh my god I don't re- I remember one time when I I think um we literally came it was during like I think my summertime and I think they dropped like I rule the world and I think we all used to watch like you know MTV raps and stuff like that I think we watched that was literally number one for like almost how many weeks I mean on I rule the world. But you know, that, that a lot of that was Lauren Hill too. Lauren was like one of the of biggest stars. She in the world. and they and that's another. Th- you, you know what I'm saying? Like it was such a like that music at that time, man. That was it was crazy. You know what I'm saying? That was hard. Uh, that was that memories. was that was a that, that was, was a great right time. There, at that time, when anybody from Queensbridge or Queens or anywhere near there, when them records came out, those fucking records were classics. Even till this day, right. records like. Body in the trunk with Nori and fucking not you. You know Body Dope. in the trunk. Yeah, hell yeah. That's Bo- Nori, you know what I'm saying? Like best joint ever. They would drop nah, songs nah, like that, and that's it. The thing about it was like, yeah, that was on Nori album, but the that streets, shit that, you, that shit used that to shit make came off like, of wow, clue tapes and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they would drop mixtapes, and you would hear these songs at that time. It just be like like a clue used to do summertime shootout, hell and he used to be asking that, and all these DJs would, and you would, man when Queensbridge dropped a record, it was classic. It wasn't hell just yeah. a song. It was something that was like, yo, you know what they did on this song? They did this, and they talked about that, and they did that. And every song was that super was, was creative. Crazy. You was. know what I'm saying? At that time, that shit was just... Then Ew. AZ AZ didn't get the respect in the... Pro- AZ should have went a lot farther than he did. He's one of my favorites. Of all time. AZ was AZ. fucking dope. Not far. Like, I was... Like, one of my favorite rappers is Andre 3000. Yeah. That's one of mine, too. That's like... Yeah. He's actually like my, like... When that's, you say top dead or live, he's you're probably talking. number one. Like, and I'm not knocking. Like, I love. Like, I, I still think M is definitely like damn near number. Yeah, I'll but it's put, personal though. It's, yeah, part, it's, it's personal. opinion. It's a. It's, it's a, all full of. You that's know. why it's easy. It's, I'm talking about personal listening. Like, I don't have M in my top five. Like, he's my top ten, but my top five personal listening. I probably listen to Andre more. I probably listen to AZ a little more. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm just nah, talking about personal you, I listening. That. I because I mean I'm just. Andre 3000 was man the way that he used to put a verse together was that that was ridiculous that was ridiculous and I and st- yeah and he can go anywhere with it you yeah. know and he, and he used to be one of those type of artists who beat you as your own game you know are him saying? and Big Boy doing something yeah I mean, they, I hope they, they, yes oh, right? I think I seen something yeah uh, um, I, you know who project? spoke about it um L.A. Reid at one point said that they was... He's the one that set them off from the very beginning. Yeah, too. from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Uh, L.A. Reid said something about them Love working on new material. Man, I hope, I really hope they do because yeah. that's I've been waiting on this album for like oh, yeah. forever. How long? Forever, now, son. Forever. The best thing about Cass is forever, like they ever? don't... They ever, don't... Ever? There's no force in it. <laughs> yeah. You know Can I... You asked, that was, you asked him a question earlier, right? About yeah. the favorite Ninja Turtle. That shit came yeah. out of left field for me. I was a... Good one. Yeah. However, that was, I think Donatello. Yo, will you hear best. that episode when we're like, yo, that tells a lot about a person? What? Well, no, I, I didn't hear that. I just feel like it the favorite Ninja so Turtle. We, we were, we I'm were a, talking about that. Donatello yeah. is the. I'm gonna tell you why. In my opinion, for me personally, Donatello for me was the best because I used to want to be one of them niggas. Hell and all yeah. I had to do, <laughs> I go to the kitchen. Everyone did. I screw the fucking off of the broom yeah. and I go outside. Boom. So I was always Donatello. <laughs> My whole, you know what I'm I can't walk around with no knife, my nigga. But I used to take the broomstick every other day, my nigga. I'd be outside. Word up, I used to go to the video store to rent games with that shit. I used my to try to put it. shit, son. Which of the nigga yo, would fuck with me, yo. son? Like, yo, let a nigga fuck yes. with me right now. Hey, yo, that's yo. true she's story, she's my she's nigga. True story, yo, man. I used to put nah. bandanas over my eyes and stuff. Yeah. Like, literally, try to cut holes and shit. 
Raphael was my guy because I'm stubborn. I'm a Capricorn. Nah, right? yo, yo, you Raph was that guy. dude, you know, though, right? You always done. the one trying to think like, yo, we don't really have to go in there. I'm stuck between up, Donatello and Leonardo. That's what yeah, I'm stuck. Leo you know was Leonardo, generic. No, man, Leonardo was one of those dudes that was like, let me tell you something. We don't got to go in there and really... He's the logical reasoning of everything. You know Leonardo. We don't got to mash everything up. But if it come down to it, I got these knives right here. I like Donatello because Donatello... Was mad, it was a perfect mad smart bro. Donatello's the brains Then you got the attitude Raphael Then you have the personality With uh, Michelangelo And then you have the overall Just leader You know Leonardo. Yeah Raph will fuck you up boy That's what I'm saying That was yeah, my guy <laughs> Raph he, will he be ready to fight he had Real beef. quick He was gang banging on bacon So yeah. he had beef <laughs> Raph will fuck you up guy. Real quick Rap was a player, though. He was a player, though. Get. I remember the first one when I, I watched the first, first real one. You know what I'm saying? When him and him and the dude with the um the hockey dude guy, at, Casey Jones. Yeah, he Jones. Casey Jones. That's well, the he one I grew up, up though, though. The first. Getting some term. work though. He worked them. They fucked those movies up, man. I did not. <laughs> they fucked up. I was fucked by the movies. Yo, they, uh, I, they might. The only the, thing I'm really kind of have hope for is that they flip everything so frequently now, like Spider Man, that like maybe five years from now someone else will redo it. it again. They need to bring that ninja. Because I was ninja, hoping they, they, rap, they could. Ninja. Ninja. This is rap. a good opportunity. You remember that? For them to make like Vanilla Ice, yeah. motherfucker. Hell yeah, <laughs> that shit was, that was my shit. Go Ninja, go, go, yo, yo, that was what up, yo, shit. whatever happened to Vanilla Ice, yo? He he got he still his out here. Van on Winkle, he's he still he, getting checks from Ninja yeah, Turtles. Yeah, he, he just Probably. he got a fucking um. Uh, of one of them VH1 shows. He oh, just, yeah, he did. Yeah, he I just remember did him. Like, he I remember he was with some like, Mormons, but now? then he disappeared. Yeah. 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 I remember yeah. that nigga was on the shit, and Suge Knight hung me up I was going to say, he don't got to worry about Suge no more. Suge <laughs> <laughs> <I know. laughs> gone. Yeah, Suge said he's going to. Oh. Yeah. yeah, give him the mic. Give him the mic, match. He said he. Tupac. Match, match. Yeah, give him the mic real quick. Heard on the radio earlier today. They were saying that. I heard that, too. Yeah. He confessed to shooting Biggie. That day, you said he had somebody do it. Oh, he said that too. No, nah, he said his wife. He said his ex-wife. He said his ex-wife. He got his ex-wife. But they said Pac. They said Tupac. The day before, he said that I know who killed Tupac. Tupac and Biggie. But you know, his son came out and said he never made those statements. That that shit was is false news. Yeah, Shug Knight's son that, said, said that, that shit too. is some bullshit. Yeah, he yeah, never yeah. made any of them. Oh, no, it's right here. Suge Knight's son calls a story about Tupac's alleged killers fake news. Yeah. He said he said he was I don't know the story that yeah, came out. It was out a rumor. Saying. It was a rumor we heard, we heard about. Was Something it, about was the, it a rumor? That's rumor. fucking bullshit, bro. I'm still I'm like really mad that I never get to meet <laughs> yo, Tupac. Yo, yo, first of all, yo, you it's know what? Bullshit. Man? It's crazy. I used to man. Matter of fact, I, I was nah, I don't even talk about that shit. <laughs> Fuck it. I was in big first That's video. Bullshit. I was yeah, in Juicy. You told me that. I was you in, were juicy. in Juicy. Yeah. yeah. The, it's, Fuck it's one, that. Let's it's pull one that scene. Up. I, I don't even know which one the fucking dude is me. I, that's fucking It's awesome. one scene. I'm going to tell that'd you what it my, was. I used to live I used Instagram. to live in 115 St. James Place. You know what I'm saying? You could look that shit up yeah, on the did, fucking he internet. Did, yeah. He lived in two some, that building is two something St. James. Same street. Right. You know what I'm saying? Big, we already knew who Big was in the hood. He had like a couple of... We knew him in Brooklyn, right? Yeah. My pops came in the crib one day, and I could tell you it was right before, the weekend before the 4th of July, whatever year Juicy came out. Right. It looked like... Big up the block making a video. So me and my cousin, we ran up the block, and Big and all of them, Puffy was out there, the truck, all that shit. Yeah. So they got to this one part where it's like, he was getting ready to roll dice. And, and Big was like, yo, all y'all little niggas, man, come get in the fucking video. All y'all. And I remember we all ran up, and Biggie rolled a dice, six 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 on the first roll. I swear Ew. on everything, and my I swear on my daughter. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Are you on, are you Straight on the up. You on the screen? Is that I don't know, yo. I'm in there somewhere. I don't know though. I don't. I, I can't even remember who I what, what I had on. I swear to God though, that just right there. That was on the corner of, if I'm not mistaken, it was either Washington and Fulton. Or Damn, they got the TV. I know. I'm, I'm in there somewhere. Or if you weren't right there, you might have been like right on the outskirt of it or something. Nah, I was there. Oh, you were in. I might have been on the other side of the circle. You know, it was a full circle, and that shit is cut out. Right. You know, but I think it's another version of the video where they pan out. It's two different versions of that shit. It's another version of the video where they pan and you see the full circle. Mm. I remember you telling me about that, true, man. That's crazy. It, hey, that's true crazy, story. Sir. True story. I that swear is, on everything. I that's love. dope, though. But I, I talked to Biggie a million times before. You know what I'm saying? Just on some random seeing him yeah, yeah, in the hood yeah. and shit. Like, yeah. that's, that's dope. Every time I speak to Jada, because we talk about Big. Who Big? Man. 
Anyway, that's fucking they bullshit. Love, the they, don't love know, Biggie. they don't know the fucking who killed they love these fucking Biggie. guys, man. You know, Styles always says it all the I mean, time. You know, no, Jada you know. loves Biggie, so Styles, yeah, yeah they all yeah, they yeah. love Biggie. They always say that to Taylor Swift. They always do, they always do, right? I mean, cause he could. Yeah, I mean, it makes Jada is one of my favorites. Jada definitely yeah, one of the nicest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Big, Big did everything so well. That's what. That's why he was the greatest. Cause you know he could street rap like Style and Jada, but he could also cross over and do different tra- rap fast. Or, you know what? If he was doing Bone Thugs or rap fast, if he doing this, he would do that. He just had a little bit of everything. He was just gifted, man. It's, it's what it is. I don't think I ever heard a whack Jada Kiss verse. Yeah, exactly. All right. That's like the line I know, yeah. yo, that really is true. But that like, they try to find one. He killed probably song. everything he did. Yo, he everything. Like, they be saying that this nigga be taking forever to write a song. Hey, but. Give him the mic. Give him the mic, man. That's my bad. The day we was in the studio with Kiss, he's writing a track for Little Kim. I think he had a hook playing. It was on repeat, you know, the mm-hmm. 16 bars. He kept going back and forth the hook. And my homie was doing a track with him that day. So he's like, yo, he's like, yo, um, yo, you writing a verse right now? He's like, nah, this is this is a feature for Kim or whatever. Like, right. He was like, oh, all right, cool, cool. So we came in there, you know, it was already playing. Yeah. And, I'm, and so now we know it's not the song for the homie, that, you know, my homie I came with. So, he, you know, we was vibing out for about an hour, drinking, you know, we was doing our thing. We was chilling. He poured champagne for us. It's like history for me. Like, I'm a rapper, too. So when doing that, being in the same environment as a yeah. lot of people's favorite rapper. Oh, yeah. And he's telling me, giving me advice. That's a lot for me. So when, that's when, dope. When he was doing that, he took his time. It, it, no matter who was around him, he ain't, you know, no different type of situation. The business is business. I see a businessman, man. He was really, like, taking his time with that 16 ball. Like, you know, you know that's why he get the, that reputation where Fuck he ain't going to say nothing about none of his matter. verses. They, everyone is to the key. You know right, saying? take his right. time. You got, you know, you're an artist. You can take your time. It ain't no rush. Yeah, that's true. So, that's true. Cause once I it's out, it's out forever. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. And that, yeah. Every every bar he rap, you know, he he got a reputation for it to be a classic. So yeah, that's true. That's the homie, true. shout out to Kiss too, man. Shout out to Jada, man. Definitely one of, <laughs> <laughs> one of everyone's inspirations. Yo, you guys want to rap for us real quick? You guys got bars? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know. You want us to play one of your joints? You want to think about it real quick? Yeah, you can let me you just take sit down. We're going to sit down and get it in right quick. You know what I'm saying? What you want to do? Yeah, I sent you actually. Um, the I sent you Shots Fired, but um, we have the... Um, With the What If song. At, yeah, actually, if you could pull that video up. Can you? Yes. Yeah. Gonna do that, wrong. yeah. That's, and that's right there with Kwan the Don, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yo, shout out to Engineer of the Year, man. Stand by Gypsy. This guy does everything on the fly, just Yo, making this shit look so Tokyo Shrimp did the production on that, too, as well. Like, I already like, get, I get, I get texts, man, like throughout the week, like, Yo, man, like, show just looks like dope, man. Like, <laughs> looks crazy. Like, how'd you do it? And people like hit on my inbox on Facebook, Yo, how do you get like four different screens on the screen? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, bro, I wish I could tell you, man. <laughs> Shout out to Stan. You man. ready now, motherfucker? Rolls out, the nigger. He's a nigger. He's a nigger. He's a nigger. Yeah. Oh, my God. A nigger, look, is a nigger. Yeah. Yeah. Come here, smart. Yeah. Yeah. What if my life was important? Some niggas die of a Jordan. Some niggas die of a Jordan. No knows we all want a portion. No knows we all want a portion. What if my life was important? They've been stuck in their ways since them civil rights days. I done slaved all my life just to get that right play. They've been lacking in practice what Jerusalem preach. Up to something like Jutman but no vertical reach. If they can't afford them, they've been trapping for them Jordans. Hey Zeus, catch that voice, man, when they come a calling like Happy Potter sweating over open culture. I done survived the whole abortion, but them priests was they coughing because what if my life was important? Yeah, some niggas die of a Jordan. Some niggas die of a Jordan. No knows we all want a portion. No knows we all want a portion. What if my life was important? What if my life was important? Yeah, some niggas die of a Jordan. Some niggas die of a Jordan.
No, no, we all want a portion. No, no, we all want a portion. What if my life was important? Yeah. I guess the small things, they don't count. That Arizona can the bag of Skittles worth the lifestyle. They ain't care how deep it was until he lost his life. Click, clack, bang. Oh, you forgot? It wasn't important. The lifestyle that we live, we come and go. We won't try and be cautious. Prices high on Jordans, how they killing economy courses. That could go to charity. So is them lottery losses. What if we wasn't important? Will we die from abortions? Huh? What if my life was important? Yeah, some niggas die of a Jordan. Some niggas die of a Jordan. No, no, we all want a portion. No, no, we all want a portion. What if my life was important? What if my life was important? Yeah, some niggas die of a Jordan. Some niggas die of a Jordan. No, no, we all want a portion. No, no, we all want a portion. What if my life was important? And where they need their fruit on foreign soil They profit off our labor, but then later they take our spores Strip us of our crime, yeah, they know our limit gets raw Did it for the streets, but we know that bitch ain't too low Once the tables turn, yeah, now we clue to them I know they fear that God within a few might pretend Reaching them like dead mama, see, I've been seeking amends The roads that grew from concrete, the trap then I turned to a gem Because I just think, what if my life was important? Yeah some niggas die of a Jordan. Some niggas die of a Jordan. No, no, we all want a portion. No, no, we all want a portion. What if my life was important? Yeah. What if my life was important? Yeah. Some niggas die of a Jordan. Some niggas die of a Jordan. No, no, we all want a portion. No, no, we all want a portion. What if my life was important? Back, we're we are back. back. That go, shit was dope, man. Go, go, go. L- little uh, someone had a had a hint of Kendrick style. Not not to say it was like Kendrick or anything. I'm just saying it's like in that lane for people that nah, like that music. I appreciate that. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. definitely it was it's a, it's a real. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a dope vibe. You know, it's a big message, and it was definitely you know what I'm saying reaching out to a lot of the youth. I, I mean, I like to. I like to when I do my music, um, I really um, try my best to at least give people a good, you know, good, full related, yeah, a full related situation in terms of whether it's like, I, I want them to see it for themselves, you know. It's important, man. Yeah. It's, it's underratedly important. It's important yeah, to have an like, important it, message. Yeah, definitely, man. Sometimes you got to, like, you got to you, you gotta put a few gems in there because it's like, that's not being, I mean, we all want to party and, and it's cool to party, you know what I'm saying? Like, Sometimes I have no, we underestimate how, like, the gems that could, you know what I mean? Growing up, when you hear certain things, you know, if I was listening to Nas, or if I was listening to anyone, Jay-Z, Eminem, whoever it was, if Fact, I hear something yeah. and you start growing up, like, oh, that's what that was. And then, you you know, your willingness to look into what it was is 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 there. So you're already intrigued. Yep. And then you're going to, like, figure out what it is. And, you know, you, like... You know, you're sparking the mind right there, so that's that's important. That, that's what we gotta do, man. We I forget how we, influential we you can be. You know, we need to. We need to, man. We need to. You know what I'm saying? We always gotta sit down there and and try to and and, and like you know, just push ourselves. You yeah. know, stop putting ourselves in that one box. You know, like like really sit down there and 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 try to like if you're gonna sit down there and say you're gonna do music, you know, don't don't just take the influence that you took and just yeah think you're gonna. Like really take it, you know, push the boundaries, you know what I'm saying? See if you can really, like, do something going against the grain sometimes. And that's how I try to move it, so. Absolutely, man. You guys want to bless us with some bars, man? What's up? What's up? You got an you instrumental or something? What's yeah, up, yeah. We got, you fuck with this beat right there? That Joey Badass shit? Fuck with this? Oh. Oh. Can I hear it? Can I hear it? Oldie. We did the joint on this. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. No, this is the Yonkers one. We did Oldie. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is Yonkers. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll find something else. Uh oh. You want a little classic? Everybody's good to this, right? Oh, yeah. New York. I mean, I mean, 
made from a different type of amphetamine. Uh, a young man come up with a trend of scene. Uh, from a different type of quasar. Young nigga, you was underrated the late bars. You ain't even understand the tear my lines. Every time I stop a nigga title and line. I felt right now my stars aligned. Whether they think that he caught that, but off that shrine, trying to catch every word. Whether it be that they're basics, goddamn Eddie the strap, gotta be three stripes, he moved it. Then they get kicked it to the aces, trying to get it all for the sis, trying to, uh, trying to get that, let me see. Uh, 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 uh. And gotta get back, try to jump back up on that pedal, it's like I'm trying to make every word, stopping it move, whether they say that concrete and dudes. Nah, please, I've been doing it days. I paid in my dues. Whether they think that the way subdued, this man on a different day done did it. Wordplay took off the dues. Who could ever say I paid it? Never could say that they redeemed. My nigga seen coupon taking the streams. I never said that I needed. Shrooms gave me everything layered within the dream. I figured that you understand everything in between. But if they understand where that sin is to take that green. I want to play it, I give them everybody that whole thought, essays, pull up 16s, they lay it down, I got that feel when they go for them, the young man think when they rolling them, I lay a whole block down, linoleum, whether it be them, ties nigga we fall, it's not aluminum, I've been trying to get it since the grave, fuck it, we digging them, everything that they wanted for them A's, if you think, uh, 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 um, yeah, 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 tryna, 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 tryna get it off the top like parachute jumpers. Follow through every jump on you. Back then in Caddywood when they slump you. Mama tell me everything run for. Damn sure we had it, came up, branded down, southern comfort. Whether they say that we ain't had no comfort. We try to take it at them trumpets, pan, whether it's bandwagon, put a nigga Trump, break or root them. Whether you think that most niggas would stoop them, not nah, dog, we never ever could say that, let them streets seduce them. Now we just try and recoup them. Better days have birds, never push it but Pontiacs. Everybody told me that they fold, they find me at young days. I ain't pushing back bars. Anybody seen the black cars with black scars? Young man did it, it's dragon days, that yard. I done. Try to catch you while I'm spinning back. I'm trying to filter every word, trying to think that I've been tripping. And please, I've been seeing it coming like Professor X. Ain't no sidekicks coming. Young, been driving. Still hitting like Willis Drummond. They never see the words that you summon. What did they say that this is? Yeah. 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 You gotta turn it up a little bit just to tag what y'all been got it. Like, yeah. Yeah. Hey. I'm trying to like yeah. turn it up just a little bit more. Let me hear it. You turn it up. Yeah. Yeah. I remember days in papyruses. Everybody told me life is his. When we really think about it, what the virus is. I'm trying to find the eye where Osiris is. My mama telling me, damn, how you feeling that? A young man trying to be pulling back. Black still trying to be here, not trying to be killing blacks, but it's just caught up, segregated. We trying to just make it adjust with the fiends. I ain't got the fiends in they bust. Every time they gotta stop, kill the heat for they gust. Ain't nobody wanna say, but then we sneeze when we cuss. Been blessed, we ain't seen the much. Damn dog, we done came up from the broken beans where the other niggas had the overseas. 48 dreams, 48 hours for your murder scene. That been something, but if you need it, it's so serene. I've been giving them everything, boy, carotene. Uh, a creatine Still creative Everything I say is what I stated Everybody told me I'm underrated, underestimated God damn it, they contemplated If they think that every day that I did it Nigga, my flow irrigated I been think that they say confiscated So trying to get it off, ain't nobody They don't even freestyle no more I figure I'm just down in I never seen style in My shit so shout in So if y'all foul in My shit might go through Two to that's the two gung ho, so Atlanta Falcon Caught that here, that's receiver, no outsend Please, I stop that, got the gun power, talc em. If they stop, might I plan shoot up the middle, they ain't been talking, no fuck em. I been thinking that everybody been hit when they had em Nah, dog, when they fathom I been trying to just juke em, but that the move stick Whether I have to juke it like Madden Now my dog, when I did it, nigga, we stopped for them patterns I got them Yeah, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to get another one out. What up, Quan? Got yeah. some? What's up? See some.
transition. Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. Liddy Gang here though, Liddy Gang there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh. For everybody thinking they know me, I don't beef with niggas, but I don't fuck with no red beef. And if I did, you'd be fucked up like whole weed. We don't play around this little records and Liddy Gang. Shooting from half court, Curry LeBron James. Nigga, you be good, just don't fuck with the darn name. Why you effing these hoes? I F already. You gon' get into some shit, it's too late for you to get. You cuffing the thigh chick, putting the hot fit, taking out your crib and coming to my crib. You know that's some hot shit. <laughs> but she dying to grab the tr- yeah, and you messing with hot water, messing with the corner down, a little the gold gang, you know what's from the front, uh. Let me stop playing with them, bring it back like old school, the phase with them. Door knockers on, knocking like a haze with them. Smoking haze, not chalking like a ray with them. Bring it back to Branson days, Bronx style. Niggas don't know where we come to YO now, this Westchester where the gold gritty. You ain't walking there with your chain out and thinking you got gritty. It's real talk. Bring it back with a real talk. Walk through the hood and wind the <laughs> fit it. I'm on top. I'm getting with it. This is freestyling. My niggas get it. Y'all playing with it. I'm playing with it. I'm playing with it. Switch swerving the millennials with it. Better stay up in it. Coming through with my nigga Matt. Show love. Tokyo shrimp motherfuckers on the map. We go hard. Niggas don't play. Y'all niggas get games every day. Playing around now, nah, this is grinding time. Work money, grind no time. You dig? Little gang, little gang. This is, we just gonna spit some quick shit for y'all, real quick. Freestyling, freestyling on the wildin' on them. Shout out to y'all, though, man. Shout out to y'all. Tokyo Shrimp, man. Appreciate that. See, there you go, man. You know? Yeah, there you go. Here we go. Yeah. It's already out. This instrumental. Oh, turn it on. Let's see. Yeah. I've been creeping, thinking that I'm trying to find my way on. How the hell them other niggas think they stop a pay on? Better yet, I lay up on them niggas, silk and ray on. Better yet, I stop and color whole blocks like it's crayon. Um, whether they think that we cheesing, like everybody they been cheesing. But fucking nigga, we been breathing. Yeah, boy, in the streets, yeah. Not again, not again. Whole land, we been doing it. How the hell, dog? We been riding. Everything is too can do with this. I been trying to make it stop and do up. Ain't nobody saying that they hot, but stock you knew us. Better yet, back then my other niggas playing back high. That's that shit that kept it bumping, but you know that style. Cause, nigga, we flexing a bit. Every day trying to get better. If you think about it, we try. Uh, yeah, okay. ah, yeah, ah, yeah. We slide with it a little bit. I don't know. We play with it. We do it. Be humble. Be humble. Be humble, bitch. Be humble. Look, look, look. Where I get my swag from? Shorty, where her ass from? Bring it to the back door. Yeah, I get that pass from. You know who the kid is. Yeah, you get that pass from. Passport. Pass where you come from. It's a pass from. Woo, woo. Guards, where we come on. It's a pass from. Woo, woo. Moving fast. You know how we get last run. Woo, woo. Little, little gang. Yeah, really with it, man. Yeah, rolling with the thing. Yeah, frontin' with your man. Ho. Be humble, be stumble. These niggas front, they stumble. We hit them, they rumble. We got niggas playing rumble. Whoa, whoa. You staying humble, better chill. <laughs> Duh, my niggas get it better. Put, uh, fuck around. Got the thing around. Where I come from, they don't play around. Uh, woo, just lay them down. Uh, swag. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, we can play around with that. That's crazy right there. Yeah. Yeah. Be, be cool. Humble. Be humble. Uh-huh. Be humble. Ah. Yeah, man. Mm. That's that's a dope mm. one. You know what I'm saying? Yo, who produced that beat? Who, 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 who did produce that? I don't know. That's a banger. I forget who did it. You know what he did? He messed up the streets. You know what I'm saying? He made it. Mike Will made it. Mike Will? I think it was, actually. Was it? I think it was. He brought back Dave Myers to direct it. Remember, he did all the Missy videos that, back in the he day. Did that? He did that video. I was about to like, yo. Kendrick's that shit was so 90s, that video? That, that video was so crazy, though. Yeah, it was. Yeah, because it, that's what yo, it is. Yo, Kendrick's it, it, videos lately have been crazy. Even that All Right video. We yeah, gone, yeah we it was all Mike right. Will made it. Mike that video Will. was stupid, Mike too. Will made it, yeah. It's crazy to you know that something like, Mike Will made it. Dave Myers. 
It's crazy to know, like, something I like, like that this is tag. just... Is it still killing it? I mean, they must have still there. Everybody there, most likely. Everybody there. They just low key. Everybody getting their vibe. Yeah. Definitely. Damn. Yeah. That shit is crazy. Be humble. I I seen it, but I don't remember. Like, cause I be, I was working while I was listening to it. A lot of people love I mean, this video. yeah, because yeah. they're gonna have to probably it, just. Bro, I don't really remember. But then this dude is still doing mad videos. They put like time and effort into that video. They put That's one of those they brought the whole camera team out for. You me. haven't seen that? You said they had Dave Myers do that shit, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a throwback. Now, that video was. That's the the guy do, that he used to do, do like Missy Elliott videos. Missy Elliott late. Yeah, yeah. It looked like yeah. That video This is who I thought it was. That's like old school MTV. He was he was up there with um. What's what's some boy that did uh, Belly and all the music videos? Hype Williams. Uh, Hype Williams. 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 Like it was Dave Myers and Little Hype X. Williams in the nineties. Little Hell X yeah. wasn't it? Little X too. Those were the two top directors. Say it again. Little X. And Little X. And Little X. That's Little right. X. Can't, can't forget about Little X. Then he's Say only thirty six. Dave Myers. Yeah. yeah. Who's thirty six? When you get that Kendrick, when you go to Dave Myers, he's and you go to one of those it, it, Kendrick. But X was under was under. Hype Williams. Yeah, that was that whole Hype Williams. Yeah. Hype Williams squad was, I mean, Hype, it's just Hype Williams. Yo, I'll man. never forget. Hype Williams, it was a movie. Every time you say that, it's a movie. I will never forget Hype Williams. Hype like Williams everything. said, yo, shout out to all the directors that need to do, like, second cuts. Because he could really envision the entire music video. Like, he doesn't have to do second takes or nothing like that. He like, did big. He's one of those that sees it, shoots it, done. Like, he's a minimalist when it comes to production. Yeah. He was taking shots at the directors that, that need to waste all this extra time, extra film. I was he, like, did, he did Biggie's What's Beef. Video. I don't even know oh, that video. See, there you go. I'm looking at I'm looking at his shit right now. Like he, you know, I'm looking there at you his, go. his see, list is crazy, go. right? Yeah, it so is. boom, there you go. So my hype? Hype? Yeah, that's. I don't know, man. doing like this is how he was probably Dude, he was doing the Kid Rock shit. videos. He was doing Jay Z videos. This all like, TRL you gotta, stuff. You gotta have a the DMX videos, Britney Spears videos. Yeah, he was. Bro, if he's only 36, that means he was doing them joints when he was like. He did 20. Big Pimpin', right? Huh? He did Big Pimpin', right? Uh, I don't think hype. hype did I think Big Pimpin'. I think hype did Big Pimpin'. Yeah. Yeah. That intro know. on the boat? Yeah. With the, that's hype. <laughs> that's, that's hype. Come that's on, man. Yeah. He did. So he did. He did. I just want to love you to give it to me uh, with uh, Pharrell and Jay-Z. Who did that? Jay-Z. Uh, He's doing Hanson videos, Ja Rule video? videos. He did. Yo, oh, did Myers? Myers. Myers. Yeah, Myers. Yeah. Outcast. He did bombs over Baghdad. Hold on. You see what I'm Myers talking about? Myers did bombs over Myers, Baghdad. This dude, Yo, Myers, Myers seems to be legit. better than Dave Hype. Dave Myers did no, bombs he's over better. Baghdad. I'm sorry. He's way better right than Hype. Right there, that shows Hype. you now. That was crazy, bro. That was crazy. I'm sorry. If you did bombs over Baghdad, you are the god. That's a crazy video. You're, that was what. That's probably one of the craziest videos ever. Yeah, he was doing yeah. Exhibit X. <laughs> yo, yo. yo the X video was dope too. I remember, I remember seeing his name religiously on MTV, like all the time. This is why who he, he was. Th- that's who he why was. they, they, they J- go. You got J Lo's get... videos back then. Yo, this dude's video real. list yo, is yo, absurd. He did so fresh, so clean. He did Cisco. Oh my, oh my god. god, he did so fresh. He did so clean. song video. He said Hold he did on, so fresh, did so that. clean. No, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, he might have. He probably did. Missy, Missy probably got the best video. I don't know. Busta Rhymes has some Busta dope videos. Yeah. Hype Williams. Busta, Busta hype. Rhymes has some dope videos. Williams. Like, who was, who was doing it? Wasn't it Hype Williams doing a lot of Busta Rhymes videos? Yeah, Hype it? was doing a lot of Busta There you go, son. Like, Hype, like this, yo. It's, that's crazy. So that, that just showed you that, like, back then, like, you know, when it came to the, to the video. Shows you how, think about how much crazier videos were back then. That mean, yeah, because you have to because go to you a, only had because the budgets were much bigger, so the labels is like, all right, yeah, we're gonna pay like a hundred grand a video. You know what I mean? It's not like you gotta go out there and just pay like five racks for a video. Mm-hmm. Back then, it was like, oh, what you need? They were shooting like million dollar videos, like no, Biggie's videos. That's what I'm saying. But it's still, it's like everyone could do it, and everyone could do oh, it well. Man. But it's there's still, not, videos in the '90s were on another level because you only had two singles. And so you got two videos. Now you come out, you shoot a video for every single record. Yeah, you know? that's true. Cause that budget, yeah, he did that. Yeah, not enough effort into it. Cause they're like, damn, how are we gonna execute this video where it's on MTV and and people are loving it? You know, and then you still gotta think about like marketing. Form. Just the song itself too. Even after that, like you know, man, it, 
man. I, I think that's just damn like million dollar videos. That's different. Oh, damn, he did Luda's videos. Luda's way that was. Those oh yeah, he Luda did roll out. He did roll out, right? Luda, Luda he, videos he used to be waterfalls. He did stand up. He did who waterfalls. Did who, did, who did the? Um, he did waterfalls. He did stand up. I remember up. that. Stand up. So he did videos for Aerosmith and Mick Jagger. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of blown away right now, man. I don't know. Hype Williams got some got some videos, man. Uh, there you go. Yo, we but hype hype videos warnings. is like a bunch of funny angles and colors and yeah. outfits. It's he a did, bunch of filters, but not warning. a lot of creativity. He did like doing it, you know what I'm saying? Not no, as much. Cool <laughs> Dude, he was so paid that he was just like in like oh wait, he was just doing three videos a year. That's it. Like Ti, whatever you like, and like some other videos. Like, Yo, but in the beginning, worth? he was killing. Yo, I'm I don't know. That's probably a great question. Now his, his his budget probably. I'm sure it's something. Hype Williams did love. California Love that video. Hi, what? California Love is a it's classic like a fucking, fucking video. video. I love that video. That video is like a dope. two million. But you know, but the, the California Love the environment the hit, made that video. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. I, the environment is what bro, made you that remember, video. Yeah, but you remember the hypnotized the video? And the, yeah, but hypnotized video with the speedboat chase. Yeah. yeah, and then the chase on the bike. That was like a movie, man. That yeah, was, well, that was bad boy, bro. You need a fucking budget. Man. Yeah. <laughs> that was big money back then. Big, yeah, but he, big who, money. Hey, yo, Hype Williams did. Hey, Hype Williams did hypnotize, right? Yeah. <clears throat> no, I don't know. I don't know. What, that yeah, was Little X, on. right? That was yeah, Steam. Hype Williams had yeah. That was that. He probably did hypnotize. He did. Uh, Hypnotize oh, he, did he did put your hands on my eyes to see when they did the uh, music video the, music video yeah, the bust of rhymes but they did the uh come Paul to Hunter yeah, to America yeah. so that shows you that's crazy yeah. your son see there you so go it's tough man. yo you know when when put your hands with my eyes to see I used to love you know what song. made that shit crazy I don't know I mean at that time I was all into everything that was the first time Buster dropped the song where he wasn't yelling and that shit, that was part of what fucked people up. Because yeah. when that beat dropped, it was like, what the fuck is that? And then it was so stupid. The lens of what you're playing. Everything before that was, ah, 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 you know what I'm saying? That was the first time Busta Rhyme, like, and that shit fucked the city but up. But you know what a lot of people and then don't he dropped, uh, No, no, I didn't want to cut you off. Keep going. And then right behind that, he dropped this is dangerous. Yeah, right? Yeah, 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 you can, you know Rampage yeah. produced that shit? Yeah, man. Yeah. Yo, Buster's yeah. the man. And, and his and his album, that was his first album. That shit just. Damn, you know you can edit Wikipedia. Yeah, oh, yeah. I can edit that's why it you right can't now. believe it. Yeah. I mean, I could right now go to Buster's page and put yeah, so and so produced. He's letting by me edit this shit. Nomad. I'm about to say he. I'm about to say he did Kenny Shane's video. <laughs> <laughs> right, Yo, you totally should. right. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Oh, where he did that joint? Dude, that shit right. <laughs> right, because everyone's it's, looking it's, him up yeah, right yeah. now. Hold on, edit. Yeah. Edit Warren Buffett shit and said he donated one billion dollars to me. This is the first time I ever noticed you can edit something. Though. Hopefully that'll come true. Dreams come true. Oh, man. Yeah. I never knew. But this you know what? Was... Even with put 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 your hands where I, where my what, I, see, you, I was saying. You guys got like a super account. That was. I didn't even know you could log. That was what now? That was the most like calmest, like smoothest, like stick up club song ever. Yeah. Because every time I used to sit down there and you know we used to like me and my um me and my cousin we used to be like literal about lyric. Back in the day, so when we used to sit down and listen to a song, we used to listen to everything. We were just like a bunch of nerds. You sit there and be like, "You heard what he said? Put your hands on my eyes and see." So he's literally, I think he's robbing them. <laughs> like <laughs> we used to sit mm. down there, like so if you really to, <laughs> we used to sit down there and go through the whole, like you know. That's why, I, like, Buster Rhymes is one of the illest ever. I be telling people, man, like, and, and you got to think man, about how bro. long he's been doing this mm-hmm. to be able to just like go through all those different stages. You know what I'm saying? Dope. Dope. Facts. Dope. Nah, you know, you Came know, from freestyling in the lunchroom with Biggie and Jay-Z in Westinghouse. Whoever's still relevant right now, you got to get all your friends. That's crazy. You want to come back into this? You've been in the game now. You relevant. It's your choice if you wanted to come back or not. So it's like, it's... It's not. Some people don't like it once they, you know, make their first hit. They, right. they end up not being heard of. You, you get all the. I give you all the credit in the world when you're still here and you and you want to get this money. You know, it ain't easy in this industry, man. It's hard. And yeah, you got one. You got some people, and you might know. You might know. It's some people like J. Ru the Damager. Right now, he live in Berlin, 
Yeah, He's just I, out there touring. Yeah. I could I could bring up a few people that live in Yonkers in my hood that been in labels like Rockefeller and shit that you you be like, whoa, this nigga's living right next door to me. You know, grabbing bud from the homie up the block. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like crazy. Cause that's why I said like it's, it's the strongest survive, man. You get you get all the love in the world, and, and, and you know the love the you know, the 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 uh, uh you know the love you appreciate you 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 deserve for being going so hard, man. Cause these people out here, it, it, the game is serious, man. I ain't even on yet, and you know I see a lot of things, and I learned a lot of things that once you get on, it's like did you really want to do that? You know what I'm saying? But I you know. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good look for us up and coming artists trying to get on to you know watch the the ones that been doing this do it still you know what I'm saying Flash. definitely blessings on blessings blessings man. on top of blessings top of blessings top of blessings so what, what you guys got coming up before we get out of here tell the people what you guys got going on I mean right now we got a project coming out you know what I'm saying um, we haven't really titled it as yet. But um, it's definitely, you know, it's going to be production. It's going to be done by Tokyo Shrimps. And, um, yeah, like, we're trying to really, like, put together, a, like, a, a really nice, um, a different type of project. Um, the first single that's going to be coming off of that project is actually going to be a little bit of a switch up for people. Switch might, up? Might, yeah, it might be a little switch up. Because, you know, we, I, we got, t- like, when I do, when we do projects like this, you know, we try to put, like, every, we try to give everything. We want to give you some R&B. We want to give you a, you know, a different feel, club, everything. Hip hop, we want to give you that whole full fusion. So you know, we're gonna have like you know, we got a few songs on there. It's gonna be definitely big standouts. I can't wait to you know for people to hear a few of them. We got one called One Time that we did. It's a dope R&B record. You know what I'm saying? Fast. That one's strictly for the ladies, though type vibe. You know what I'm saying? And then we got um, we got another record called Squeaky Clean. <laughs> Squeaky. Which clean. yeah, Squeaky Clean is almost like you know, it, it's more like a. A real, you know, um, I would say super, you know, like a club record, you know what I'm saying? But definitely, you know, um, we got tons more too. You know, we got tons more. You know, I want to, I want to let everybody, you know, really in. But right now, you know, like I said, when we in that creative process, like you know, but I mean, we'll be dropping, you know, little little tidbits here and there. If you guys go to this, you know, go to the Instagram, you can always follow me uh, on my IG at s, you know, at sir underscore match underscore Mackenzie. So that's like S I R underscore M-A-T-C-H underscore M-C-K E-N-Z as in zebra I-E <laughs> Cause, there you, you know, go you know what I'm saying hold on salute salute um you left a few things out too bro we got this the rooftop thing about to pop off as much as promotion we can get we don't have no date right now but you know we, we starting to try to do our thing as far as music we, we got the music that's that's what we do. That's the easy part. The studio, we're gonna knock that out. But we're trying to, you know, the business part. We gotta understand it now. So it's like you gotta make money in this thing. So we gotta, we we, we starting to promote ourselves in a different way. You know, we wanna get, we we got little venues that we're trying to start, like uh, hosting parties. You know, or we got we got venues, we got areas, we got like a rooftop area where for right now. You wanna you wanna hold on one second. Let me let Matt speak on it. Yeah, oh my goodness, I forgot to tell y'all guys that. Um big shout out, yeah, um big shout out to Rooftop. Um yeah. But um it's the Fairfield. Um definitely it's you know, we have a, a, a nice little venue that's about to pop off right now. Mm-hmm. And I would actually want you guys to actually, you know, think about it too as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so rooftop that? venue. I, I I was thinking like one day you guys could do a nice little day party podcast type vibe, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And we should try to like put that together. That'll be something real nice, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to put against something really big. Try you know, trying to do stuff, you know, actually, you know, also to give back towards for the kids too as well. You know what I'm saying, and that's one of my big things is I'm trying to like really try to do a, a lot more things that were a lot that that'll help us, also you know fund the machine, but also like I said truly you know we're trying to like help a lot of the youth. You know what I'm saying, starting to get a few things more off the ground. Like yeah, man, I gotta cause I got it's so much dope people out here trying to you know help out. That's another thing that I love to do too. I got a good homeboy of mine, and he's in um, Brooklyn Zyax. Um, Brooklyn and he runs the studio Zyx Studios mm. and they have a dope a dope center for children where they come and they do tutoring and everything man Cra- crafts everything Shit, and those dope. are things like that that we want to like really invest and help 
you know, I mean, they do everything. They teach them how to cook, everything. And it's dope, bro. And I want to be able to, like, see if we can put on a few great events so we can come, you know, help the kids, you know, and let's, let, let, let's do that. So, but definitely, like I said, we got a, um, a few events coming big. You know, I got one, actually, it's going to be on Sundays for the ladies, too. It's called On Sundays, Yogas and Mimosas. You know, that's coming. And like I'm telling you, once you know, don't worry. Like I say, follow the IG. Once you follow the IG, you go understand. You know, we got a few parties also planned, so you know, stay in touch. You know, and I and I also work a few parties too. Pop, we do one Oak. You know, we do um up. You know, up and down a few other clubs. So you know, like you know, holla at me. We, let's work. Let's do it. Definitely. Yeah. Yo, man, thank you guys for coming on the show, bro. Respect. Right. Appreciate it. We gotta man. connect. We got a link. Thank you so much, yeah, for sure. Respect. We gotta stay up, man. Salute, salute. We will be salute. back as we are every Wednesday, 9 30, right here, Facebook Live, Kenny Shane's fan page. And like we always say, Frank and Nomad and my boy Standby Gypsy, we, we gone. gone.